Hey everyone, it's Valerie with JNS Hobbies and Crafts, and we got a special thing for you today. I'm going to be taking one of Shelly's MDF birdcage kits and kind of make an exploding box out of it. So it's going to be pretty simple. Um, first of all, I'm going to take the sides of it and paint them all in kind of a copper color, but we also carry some really cool like silver enamel and chalkboard paint, which I think would look really cool as well. And then pre, before I start putting everything together, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stamp and die out all of my uh, palm leaves from my monkey around die and stamp set. And as you know, I pre-color all of mine before I actually uh, cut them out. So I'm using some pistachio bright green color box ink today to color up my palm leaves. And uh, when I'm done, I'm going to take some of the darker pigments and my brush sticks. And I'm using one of the brush sticks today that has kind of a point on it, as you can see. And that's what I'm gonna use to uh, enhance the secondary color on my palm leaves. I use this quite frequently, actually, so you guys are probably real familiar with it. Um, I'm just gonna add some little darker tints before I cut them out. And there's my uh, dies all around, using my monkey around again, and uh, cut them all out. And then I'm also gonna be using the Tropical Plumeria. I haven't used these before, so these are new to me. And uh, I pre-stamp these as well, and then color them in with my daubers, my Heartfelt Creations daubers. And I decided to do multiple colors of flowers, of course, lots of bright colors, because this is a tropical birds of paradise type, type of uh, project that I'm doing today. I uh, cut these all out using the Plumeria die and get ready to put them together. So I'll use my Heartfelt Creations flower shaping kit here to start shaping up the uh, petals on this flower. It comes in two parts and so the first part you just kind of shape in like round shaping just to give it a little bit of a curve and then after you're done you need to curl the what I'm going to call the darker side. Um, here I'm clipping it because when you put it together it makes it easier. I'll explain that a little bit later when we start putting these together but if you hand curl the edges I don't have one of those curling paper curlers so I just have to hand curl mine um, but You'll see me do it in just a second. I'm just kind of hand curling it over on the edges. And this plumeria flower looks just like this. So you'll understand once it's all put together. Um, and the cut is, to keep, is so that when you fold them in, they, they, it doesn't break. So we're going to take some hot glue today to make these. And uh, I'll show you in just a second here. I'm going to put my glue on one of the edge, one of the petals on the lighter side of the petal and then you grab the petal to the right of it and just fold it over and glue it together. You're going to do that with all three, just like this. Then you're going to take the second half, glue those two petals together, and then put them all, for, all together like this. And after I'm done, I'm going to take some of my diamond stickles and, as usual, add a little bling to all my flowers. I probably made about 20 flowers in different colors. I probably made about 10 of the palm leaves and then next I'm going to take our um, tropical hibiscus and do the same thing. I'm going to pre-stamp and color in multiple colors. Um, I also use my brush sticks on this as well to give it a little bit more uh, enhancement. I like to make it look more realistic. So I'm going to take the red and make little streaks down inside because these particular flowers I cut out without pre-stamping them so I don't have any of the details that the stamp actually gives it and I don't like to waste. So I kind of just created my own look here. So if you don't stamp them first, you can just cut them out and create your own. Put a little yellow on those stamen. And... Uh, then I did some more in some really pretty bright greens and turquoises. And then I'm going to cut them all out and do some flower shaping with my essentials tools and glue these together. Now you don't have to glue these together. They don't normally have six petals, but you know, why not? You can because I can. I'm going to add a little bit of prill. I think I'm using the gold prills today, and I also use the Go Mango prills on some of the other flowers. It just depends on the color of the flowers. Uh, get them all over the stamen here. And I set these all aside while I go while I uh, let them dry, because it takes a little while sometimes for the glue to dry on the prills. We're going to be using our Heartfelt Creations Tropical Paradise Paper. And I used this earlier on a card, and I have a surprise coming. I'll be making another 
piece with this paper as well. The flowers, um, or I'm sorry, the birds in here are what we're going to be cutting out. So we're going to be fussy cutting a lot today uh, and using all of those birds and a lot of the greenery and things like that. But first we're going to grab this bright yellow paper that's in this pad and that's what I'm going to put on the other side of the birdcage. So after I painted it, I let it dry. I glued the yellow paper on the inside. So the inside of our birdcage is actually going to have wallpaper. I think it's going to be really cute because it's uh, going to make it look really bright and fun. Yes, I hand cut all of those little pieces out. The bottom of the cage, I uh, applied some of the paper that kind of looks like it's a jungle. And the birdcage goes together really well. There is instructions inside to tell you how to put it together. But as you can see, it just fits right together and glues together very well. On the top part here where I have it expanding out like it's broken open, I used um, kind of some super glue. You guys can use some wood glue or maybe some E6000, whatever works on wood. And then I made a little dome out of the same paper that I covered the bottom of the cage with. And I'm going to place it inside. That's what I'm going to cover in flowers and things like that. I wanted to make some vines. So I used the delicate borders, as you can see. And I'm cleaning them out with my tool in one. I made about five sets of them and what I'm going to do after I get them all cut out is I'm going to glue them back to back and they're going to be like creeping vines coming out of my birdcage. So line them up, glue them together and let them dry. Start applying your flowers to your cone and then there's some secondary pieces to the birdhouse that go on the outside like this. I covered those in some green paper out of the uh, paper pack. So you can see I adhered those, I glued them on, and I, and I got all my flowers all attached to my cone. I pulled my vines in, I attached them on the inside, and then pulled them out and I glued them to the edges of the actual <coughs> birdcage. So <coughs> you can apply your birds and your ferns and your palm leaves and all of that kind of any way you like. I kind of just wanted it all to look like it exploded out of this birdcage. So you can see my beautiful um, flowers inside and out. I had my little palm leaves all poking out of the outside and um, I attached my flowers up on top and I added some diamond stickles to the flowers that are attached to the birds here. And I just kind of glued the birds all around in different ways just so that it's actually functional um, 360 degrees. And you can do them any way you want really. I think it's really fun and I think it was great to be able to put all this bright color in all the things that I love the most about uh, scrapbooking and crafting. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I had a great time putting it together and like I said I got another surprise coming for you so keep your eyes and ears open. Have a great day everybody okay and happy crafting. <laughs>